clothing retailer H&M recently <laughs> found themselves in a hairy situation after an ad for their H&M Kids campaign got attention for the wrong reasons. The ad in question featured a young African-American girl with her natural hair pulled into a ponytail, which many on social media felt looked messy and improperly groomed. Celebrity hairstylist Vernon Francois brought specific attention to the ad on Instagram saying, quote, my heart breaks imagining yet another girl from my community sitting in front of a mirror, being ignored by the team around mm. her, left to her own devices because someone didn't know how to handle her texture. In a statement addressing the controversy, H&M said in part, we truly believe that all kids should be allowed to be kids. The school-aged kids who model for us come to the photo studio in the afternoon after school and we aim for a natural look which reflects that. Amanda? I, recent, I know oh, that you look recently at her spoke face. out about this. <gasps> look at her, look at her, she's pining, guys. I, I, you Tell know, us. I'm a guest, yeah, so. You shut up. <laughs> well, guest, I wanna know, how do you feel about this? Well, I think there were a lot of levels to this conversation that were mm -hmm. happening on these internets. Um, you know, yes, on right. one on one hand, people are like, why aren't her edges snatched? Why aren't her baby hairs laid to the right. gods? <laughs> and I think that there's something to be said for the fact that, like, she's a child and this is an editorial shoot that's really about, like, these kids just coming home from school. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's an unexpected, that's an unnecessary expectation. Mm -hmm. um, but then there was the other conversation about, like, well, it's natural and she just has a natural, so why can't it just be natural? And I think that there's something that has to be spoken about the middle ground of that and that's what Vernon was actually speaking yes, to yes. he was spe some people misinterpreted Vernon's point shout out to my Grenada massive because Vernon is a fellow yep. Grenadian yep. um, what he was saying was that a lot of times and we're women of color you go on a set and your version of natural is not communicated to the other person in yeah. the way that they understand. So when I go on a set and I say I have a natural look, I've had people think that means, oh, so we're not gonna put makeup on you. Mm, right. And it just mm. means, no, I just don't want, I don't want a whole- You just don't want this, what I've done to my face. Yeah, like, yeah. Contour, <laughs> lashes, contour. Contour. Yeah, that's what I said. Contour. No, no, I'm-, I'm But I yeah. think that there's, but there is still like, I still want my hair to be addressed, yes. right? Yeah. And you so, want like, to be groomed. I have, well, and so, like, even any any black mother is sending their child to school with their hair brushed, even if it doesn't have a chemical in it, yeah. because that's the part that makes it natural. Correct. That there's no chemical in yeah. it, but yeah. it's still brushed. And so I think Vernon, and I think what we're all talking about, is simply just the fact that in a lot of these spaces, there is nobody who understands the unique culture of black hair. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times it can get misrepresented, and mm -hmm. that's all I we agree. want. I agree 100%.